Hello, AACD colleagues and friends. It's great to share some great ideas, and I want to just share something that is absolutely been astounding for me during COVID. We dealt with a lot of trauma cases, and actually they ended up setting up a lot of interdisciplinary cases where people fractured teeth and we had to extract them, but we really didn't want to go ahead and get involved with placing implants at that particular time. And then there are some people during COVID that have been affected by obviously some financial restraints that they needed a transitional strategy to help them plan ahead due to finances. So I want to share a, a product that's worked really, really, really well for me. And that product is Luxacrown. Luxacrown is what I considered a generation next category for provisionalization. It has been fantastic to use and we share why it's been so great. So it's actually created a new category called semi-permanent crowns. What that means is it's much more reinforced. And according to the research, these could last up to five years. And what's really great is instead of it being something you have to send to the laboratory and wait, you actually can do it chair side. So it's very similar to what we've used for years with Lux Attempt, same dispensing system. And it can be looted with a permanent cement if you need somebody to have a long-term provisional that until they can afford to do a permanent crown, or you can do a reversible cement in case you're doing interdisciplinary cares. So what um, we have found is with this semi-permanent uh, restoration that uh, patients who are going through implant treatment can don't we don't have to worry about let's say if we got a provisional covering the implant sites and we've done grafting or something like that that they have something that actually can be removed to place the implants or do any gra further grafting and then we can place it back on there maybe just help sculpt the tissue and because we've been able to do this it's bought us time in terms of um doing the dentistry and the art that we're, we love to do, but also it's giving patients time to maybe stretch out that budget a little bit more. And it gives us a lot of versatility. And actually because of this, especially because of the trauma cases that I've dealt with uh, during COVID, uh, we've got a, quite a few referrals uh, from that. So Gordon Christian actually came, Christensen actually came out with an article that talked about this. And as you can see here, Luxacrown is actually at the top of the category. It's the only one that got the excellent to good rating. Uh, but nevertheless, there are uh, products that um, are out there that are extremely, they're good, but Luxacrown is the best. And 98% of the clinicians that tested it said just that. So, um, Moving right along, here's some really great research that was done at University of North Carolina, one of the best dental schools in the world. And in the uh, report by the uh, Department of Biomaterials, they found that, and this is extremely important, when we have long-term temporaries, we don't want them to stain. We have a very aesthetic-focused business and Luxacrown is extremely durable in terms of uh, color stability. It's very durable in terms of fracture toughness. And because we deal with a lot of cases um, in my practice that people are uh, a little more stressed out, not because of me, of course, but because of life as it is, uh, you want something that can handle the wear. And let's say you're doing a, um, a case that you're opening the bite. This is like the perfect material to be able to use for this. So sometimes we gotta work on people's bite along the way. Uh, this is a great material to help us uh, get through those. So let me show you a case. One of my patients came through, and we, we have an older population since I moved my practice, and uh, many of the patients uh, are in their 60s, 70s, and even 80s. Uh, and a few even higher than that. And just a routine uh, visit, 
we have them patient had said, you know, I'm noticing more food catching around my bridge. And the bike guard, her lower bike guard that the other dentist had made just doesn't quite feel like it did. Something seems to be moving. So we went ahead and we took uh, our appropriate radiographs and you can see right here, there's decay on the mesial of number seven. And you can actually palpate that area uh, and tap on the bridge a little bit and you can actually feel some mobility. And it wasn't because of Fremenis, it was because the bridge was starting to loosen. And this was a tooth that obviously was an extremely important abutment because if we didn't uh, take care of that, what would happen is she would have to expand that uh, area and we'd have a double uh, area for ponics and things like that. And that, that's not something that was really in her budget. So we took off the bridge, kind of put a zipper into the porcelain and just loosen it up with some wham keys. And able actually is great for shade matching because we were able to keep the bridge for matching the shade of the adjacent crowns. She's not ready to go ahead and do anything about the other teeth. And you can see all this decay here. We went ahead and used some uh, seek to check the decay and there's still remaining decay in here. And thankfully I have a laser, I'm not Dr. Evil, but I have this erbium laser to help me conservatively clean the decay out. And then later on, we could also sculpt this gum tissue so we can create more of an ovate pronic. And because we were right on top of the pulp, we put a little uh, uh, Theracal on there, some MTA or Portland cement and a couple of pins because we really needed a lot of retention. And then built that tooth up with Luxacor. I've been using Luxacor for almost 20 years. And what I and the, the newer version of Luxacor is actually even better than before because it's got a zirconia type feel. And uh, CRA did a report on this, and there's a few really great characteristics on this. Because of all the different bonding products out there, you've got to be very selective on what you're using for your buildups. And the great thing you can see here with Luxacor, it was, it's very adaptable for most of the leading uh, products that are out there. And uh, you get a strength more than 10 um, megapascals, which is extremely key for this. And look at the compressive strength on this. Very, very powerful. And matches up with most of the leading uh, products. And then when you're prepping on a, uh, a buildup, it's always nice to have that feel that it feels like dentin. It gives you that tendency of like, instead of having a ditching into the composite, you have something that feels like natural tooth and you can get a really, really um, smooth prep. So you can see here, I've um, done my buildups, we've done our uh, preps, and we're almost ready to do an impression, but I always like to check my occlusal clearance. And this is a really cool product um, that we use. It's a product from Contact Ease called the PrepSure. And it this, this particular, uh, they have three different thicknesses and it gives us a chance to make sure that we've got enough clearance. And this is one and a half millimeters in thickness. They have one at one millimeter, another one at two millimeters. So it makes, helps my lab get a much easier predictable result when they're uh, creating the zirconia bridge. So you can see we got plenty, uh, we got a nice trough around this. I didn't need to use a laser to uh, trim at all, just use a retraction cord. And just beautiful clean margins. And again, I saved the bridge for shade matching and got my Kois analyzer to help her get a perfect result. And here we are using the Luxa Crown and a couple of key things. Uh, we, you have to have a very accurate matrix so that you can get all your contours right. And when you're using um, Luxa Crown or actually any of these temporization materials, you wanna make sure that you put the tip of the um, dispenser right into the prep or the, the, the shape of the matrix because then you avoids any bubbles in there and 
further repair and voids and, and, and things like that, and especially in a situation where you're using a long-term provisional, you don't want to have any voids. So went ahead and we made this temporary and um, you can see we got a, a good shade match. We did a little uh, custom coloring in here and because she needs to spread things out um, because of the quote unquote limited budget, uh, we put a little Luxa glaze on that. I know Luxa Crown is very durable, we, but uh, she likes to drink a little bit of wine and I wanted to give her some reassurance that we could uh, uh, not stain the bridge at all. And here we are, immediate post-op, really good adaptation to the gum tissue. She's going to heal up nicely here. Uh, fortunately, she has a lower smile line, so this, uh, these areas of different uh, zeniths aren't going to really show. And what I love about this is because we get this lifelike appearance and this color stability and the strength, uh, but it makes it easy for her to um, keep plaque off of there. Uh, she she's has some limited mobility with her fingers, so flossing is a little bit more challenging. So it really gives us a, a, a chance for our patients to have a better chance of success. And the other thing is, it's really great in you know when you do a beautiful temporary in the front they get people get more confident in you i've only known this patient for two or three years since i bought the practice so she's developing a lot more confidence in me and when you look here at her smile and she she even mentioned this i didn't bring it up of course i saw that she really doesn't have much buccal cord or over over here because when they did this bridge they uh in these crowns they didn't think about that buccal cord or and she says you know i'm, I'm noticing part of my smile is missing so uh, she's thinking long term, maybe we should go ahead and do those crowns later on. So we can serve our patients even better by having this particular product. So uh, a little tip to share with you, there are some insurance codes that you can use for these semi-permanent uh, uh, restorations. And I'm sharing these with you and I'm keeping the screen up just a little bit so you can screenshot it if you want. But these are really good to help your patients uh, even if you don't have an insurance-based practice, you can still file the insurance for them and give them every chance of success. So that being said, I, I truly believe Luxa Crown's a revolutionary uh, material. It's got all the strength that we need. It's got the stability that we need for color. And it just gives us more options in treating patients than we ever had before. And it, it allows us to imagine a little bit further instead of being stuck uh, and not being able to give our patients the very, very best. If you have any questions, feel free to email me at h.flax at flaxdental.com. If you could put in the subject line uh, AECD question, and if you could hit it as a priority mail, there's a better chance I can see. I get hundreds of mails like you guys do uh, during the week, and that would be great. So uh, with that being said, uh, it's great to share with the AECD and uh, look forward to uh, sharing more with you in the future.